This is Twit. Phone number again, 888-7248-TTG. If you want to call in, who should we talk to uh, to start this? We can talk, but you were really interested in that one email. You want me to read it? I'll read it Let's just really quickly because I thought it was interesting. Uh, he's going to jump the line a little bit, though. Paul, uh, I'm a Twit Club member, so you get to jump the Ooh. line. Thankful for all that you do for us, Leah and Micah. Your name's in here. I finally decided it's time to make some changes to my internet and streaming services. But there's some areas I'm unsure of. First, a little background. My wife and I both work from home using Teams. Mm -hmm. Three teenagers that love to stream and game online. Right now, I have two Ethernet lines for my Xfinity router. One goes to a 10-port TP-Link switch for their PC and gaming consoles. The other to a 5-port TP, TP-Link switch in our office for our work laptops. We use Xfinity, have a plan with a leased router that upgrades every two years. Okay, that's good. Upload speeds of 900 plus megabits. Upload? I think he means download. Because I have that gigabit service that yeah. they offer, and it is download only. It's about 30 gigabit, megabits 30, upload. Yep, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same. We also have TV service, but we only use it for live sporting events. We pay over $200 a month. Oh, they may have bus a business, a symmetric business plan. We also have streaming services on top of that. I'd like to make... Some changes, especially since there are other internet service providers out here, get rid of TV. But I'm worried that I don't know what speed I need that my wife and I could both work and not be affected by our boys streaming and gaming. I think gigabit would be enough. I was going to say gigabit's probably enough. And I think that, especially if you're in a home and not an apartment complex or something like that, you're already in a better place because it means that it's more likely that you're not going to be competing bandwidth wise with a bunch of other people who are on that same node. Um, I think that the, if the, if they truly are upgrading the router regularly, or I guess if you if you go with a new system, then you're going to get something else because uh, that's going to play a role, right? It, it's not just how fast you are, but it's also is Your the equipment. hardware capable. So we went to, in a similar situation, although we don't have that many teenagers, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we, but when, during COVID, I really wanted to upgrade. And we that's when we went to Gigabit uh, and we used a Ubiquiti router and switch and Ubiquiti Wi-Fi. And that has been more than adequate for the streaming and so forth. Um, the nice thing about the Ubiquiti, uh, the ultimate dream machine, at least the the rack mount unit, is it does, uh, it can have a second internet connection that you will then bond to increase your speed. So it is maybe the thing to do would be do some get a router that can do that yep. bonding. Not necessarily get the second provider yet, but at some point you could get a second line from Xfinity and do bonding. And so if, if a gigabit wasn't enough, you could do that. I think a gigabit is, we, we're so spoiled now. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of bandwidth. Uh, your teams upload, if you're both on teams at the same time and you have at least 30 or 40 megabits up, uh, and 30 or 40 megabits down. You're not going to use more than... In fact, I think I think with uh, when we use uh, Zoom, correct me if I'm wrong, John, I don't know if you know, but I think Zoom doesn't use more than 18 megabits a second. I think that's the max. 18 megabits a second. Do we know how much Zoom ISO uses per call? I think it's much... It was surprisingly low mm -hmm. to get a good high-resolution call. So so that's let's say you need 40 up and down for you and, and your wife for work. Your kids are just downloading. They're not uploading. Uh, but I think it's the same situation. Netflix says, in fact, I'll show you the Netflix speed calculator. That's actually a useful thing to know. It's for Netflix, but, um, you know, it gives you a rough ballpark figure of what you need for any kind of streaming video. Um, let me see here what they, there it is. Internet connection speed recommendations. So if you wanted ultra high definition, 4K for Netflix, that's 15 megabits. And that's, yeah, that's down. 15 megabits down. Yeah. Easy peasy. So I think even if you have four teenagers, that's 15 times four, that's 60. Yeah. And you're doing it, that's another 40. That's still only 100 megabits. That's yeah. a tenth of your total download capability. I think you're okay. Gigabit is, is really a lot more than we think. And I think more importantly, we assume that we need a lot more than this. Now, I think... I would say you want 25 megabits down for Netflix ultra high definition. I agree. But even yeah, then, that seems low. Mm -hmm. that. That's Netflix. That's their official number. 
But even then, I, I just don't think you uh, a gigabit. I think is plenty, Agreed. plenty, plenty, plenty. But you're right about the equipment. Get some good gear. Uh, that'll help. And and don't all be on Wi-Fi. I noticed he said Ethernet for the office. That's yes, good. That, that is makes very a big good. difference. Yeah. Uh, and you know, a lot of the modern hardware will have things like bandwidth steering, where uh, depending on because different types of traffic. Yeah. They call it QoS. QoS. Look for that also because you can then say prioritize teams yep there's different tagging that happens in the back end of what is being sent and, and delivered and so it can say hey if it's microsoft teams or some other conference system i want that to get priority so that mom and dad can make the money so the kids could play the games right yeah i think that honestly what it what it would often do is say well prioritize uh two-way streaming and then prioritize one-way streaming and then email <laughs> and then yeah exactly so great question paul thank you and uh, i hope you don't mind that i jumped the line with that but i thought no it's a something good, a lot of people might want exactly to know. how much love is enough those, those general universal questions you can now get somebody was telling me oh my friend brock was telling me they're moving uh, to philadelphia and they're getting uh verizon fiber two gigabits and he said well i have to upgrade my hardware because most of my <laughs> yeah. hardware won't handle two gigabits. So he uses a firewall as his uh, firewall, oh, which nice. is a great little product. And they do have a two and a half gigabit version. So you, you Wow. I think a gigabit from is probably most gear is sufficient. Spoiled. You're not gonna you have to get special gear. We have ten gigabits down from Sonic, which we love, but most of our switches won't handle it. Right. I my machine won't handle it. Yeah. So uh we don't get the benefit of it. We do because it's a shared environment. So Hey, if you like what you just saw, all you got to do is head to twit.tv slash ATG to subscribe. Then smash the bell, hit the button, and I don't know, do that stuff that YouTubers do. 